All right, so we're going to talk about reporting frequency today. So I have a frequency table here of soccer players, and I grouped them by age. So four to five, there's seven players, uh, six to seven, 11, eight to nine, 10, 10 to 11, 12, 12 to 13, seven, 14 to 15, there are four. So if I wanted to find the total number of players, I just take this column of frequency and add it all up and get a total. So 7 plus 11 is 18, plus 10 would be 28, plus 12 would be 30, 40, and then 47, plus 4 would be 51. So the total players would equal 51 players. And we can also take this um, frequency table and make a histogram. And the histogram is... Um, just a graphical display of a frequency table. So what you would have this line on the bottom and then each age group. So 4 to 5, 6 to 7, 8 to 9, 10 to 11, 12 to 13, and oops. And 14 to 15. And then you just have a vertical axis um, so each one of these are one so one two three four five one two three four five and then you just have bars for each one of these age groups so uh, four to five would get a bar at seven 6 to 7 would get one at 11, 8 to 9 would get one at 10, uh, 10 to 11 would be 12, uh, 12 to 13 would be 7, and then 14 to 15 would be 4. Now all these bottles should be the same width, I mean I just sketched this out, I didn't have graph paper or anything. Um, but you can see how this would turn the frequency table into a histogram. And the largest age group would be this 10 to 11. So the most kids that participate in soccer are in the ages from 10 to 11. And then we can also say the least number of players would be in the 14 to 15 age range. Alright, so next we have a line plot. And this line plot um, is ages when you learn to ride a bike. So we have one three year old, uh, four, or three four year olds. Uh, five five-year-olds, three six-year-olds, eight, um, or one eight-year-old and one nine-year-old. So based on a line plot, you can find a couple things. Uh, the first thing you can find is mode. And that's the one that's the most. So you just look which one has the most, that would be five. You can also find um, your median. And that's just by counting in. So we got one there, 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 one there. So obviously the median is going to be five because all that I have left is five. Uh, you can find the mean, but that's not any easier than any other format. So we're not going to do that. Um, but a line plot is just a line with X's above it. One thing you need to be careful of, sometimes you'll have a key on this that says something like that, x equals 3. So then you would have to take each one of those x's and multiply it by 3. So instead of our mode being 5, it would be 15 if that was the key.